Good afternoon. Kendall Sanders was hit in the arm when police say a 12-year-old 7th grader fired into the bleachers at Berindo Middle School in the gym. Today, we talked to her family about her lengthy road to recovery and what she remembers about that day. News 13's Emily Younger is live in Roswell with the story. Kim, it's been an emotional week for Kendall Sanders and her family. She was sent to a Lubbock hospital Tuesday right after the shooting and last night was finally given the okay to return home. She kept saying, Mom, don't cry. I'm okay. I'm alive. I'm okay. Please don't cry. Those were the first words 13-year-old Kendall Sanders said to her mom after police say she was shot by a fellow student inside the Berendo Middle School gym last week. Kendall told her parents on Tuesday morning she walked into the gym, sat in the bleachers, and that's all she remembers about the day. She says after she was shot, a teacher asked her to lead a group of students into a classroom, keep quiet and wait. She suffered a gunshot wound to her right arm that required two surgeries to repair. Family members say she has very limited feeling and movement in her arm, and it could be four years before she fully recovers. She's going to always have the scars to, to remember and bring it back. But as strong as she is and her, as big as her heart is, she's going to get through it. Her parents say doctors found two BB pellets inside her liver and another one in her lung. They also tell us Kendall has pellets along the right side of her body that doctors will never be able to remove. Kim? Okay, thanks, Emily. Now, we are told the other victim, 12-year-old Nathaniel Tavares, is now breathing on his own. He remains at a Lubbock hospital with serious injuries to his face and head. The suspect in the shootings, Mason Campbell, remains at a psychiatric hospital in Albuquerque. Campbell was, has been in the facility undergoing a mental health evaluation since Tuesday night, just hours after the shooting. Officials say it's unclear how long he will stay there or where he'll be taken next. That decision will likely be left up to a judge. 